Okay, hello everyone and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can set up leave loading for your annual leave in Zero. So often when it, an employee takes leave, it's not as common these days as it used to be, but a lot of employees who are on awards were entitled to loading when they took annual leave. So they'd get a higher amount, a higher rate of pay when they take annual leave. Now, if you do have your employees on an award where leave loading is applicable, you're going to have to set that up in zero so that zero knows to add that leave, add that loading rather, onto the leave when your employees take leave and you process a leave application in zero. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now here we, here we are in the demo company on the dashboard. First, I'm going to go to have a look at the payroll. And we're going to go to a pay run here. Now I've got a draft pay run here ready to go for the fortnight ending 4th of January. Let's click into there. And we're going to be looking at James LeBron. So as you can see at the moment, it's just set up as an ordinary fortnight, 76 hours, ordinary hours, no annual leave. But we want to process some leave for that. So I'm going to open up a new screen. And I'm going to keep that pay run open. I'm going to go to the leave section. And let's say for that fortnight ending the 14th of January, this fortnight here, that one week of the two weeks was annual leave. So that'd be 38 hours of the 76 hours of annual leave. Let's process that. I'm just going to go through this little bit quite quickly. I have made other videos on how to process annual leave, and I'll put a card link up above if you want to check that out. For the, for the sake of this video, we're just looking at leave loading. So I'm just going to go through this little bit quite quickly, and then we can move on. So the fortnight ending, 14th of January, there was 38 hours annual leave. Let's approve that. I'm going to go back over to the pay run, scroll down to the bottom, and we're going to reset the pay slip. And as you can see now, we've got 38 hours, which is one week of ordinary hours, and 38 hours, one week of annual leave. That's good. So, but now we want to set up the leave loading because you can see here that the rates are the same. So what we have to do to do that is we're going to go into James LeBron's employee file. And you might think to go to the leave tab, but it's actually in the taxes tab where we have to set it up. Scroll down, and we're going to click on eligible to receive leave loading. And, and if we hover over the question mark, it says, check this box if the employee is eligible to receive an additional percentage on top of ordinary earnings when they take leave. Typically 17.5%. So we're gonna tick that box. Then it gives the option here to add SGC, which is your superannuation. It's not always the case when there will be SGC on leave loading but often it is. So in this example, we're gonna tick it, but if you're not sure, talk to your accountant or um, get in contact with us and we can work through it with you as well. All right, so I'm gonna save that. Now, if we go here to reset the pay slip, the 
the rate is the same, so nothing has changed. Well, the reason nothing has changed is because, because there is a second step, and I'm going to show you that now. So I'm going to open up a new tab. And we're going to go to the payroll settings. We're going to go to pay items, leave, and then we're going to click into the annual leave. We'll scroll down, or oh, you don't need to really, and you can see here, leave loading rate optional. Enter an amount here if your organization pays an additional percentage on top of ordinary earnings when your employees take leave. So it's typically 17.5%, but if you're not sure, check your award or talk to your accountant, or you can talk to us as well and we can help you with that. So we'll put in 17.5% and we'll save. Then we'll go back to the pay run, reset the pay slip. And as you can see now, the annual leave rate is 23.72, where the normal rate is 2018. And we can check this. And if we type in this amount here, 23.72, I'll just round it off, minus 20.18 divided by 20.18, the base rate. And there's your 17.5%. It's not quite 17.5% even here, just because I did some rounding on the calculation. But you can see there that it's worked. So normally, the James gets paid 2018. But when he's on annual leave, he gets the 17.5% leave loading to make it 23.72, the higher rate for that annual leave. And then you just go ahead and process it like you would normally in your pay run. So that's about it for the video, guys. Just a nice, quick and easy one. If you're not sure whether you pay leave, like I said before, rather if you pay leave loading, refer to your award. You can also refer to your accountant or you can talk to us so we can help you with it. If you're not sure what the rate might be, the leave loading rate, if you're not sure if there's super guarantee on your leave loading, all that stuff we can help you with. If you want to book in any kind of training session, Head down to the de, to the link in the description. That'll take you over to our website where you can book in a training session. We can go through a tailored little training session to whatever you need done. It might just be a few small things. It might be something more involved. Other than that, guys, I hope you learned something here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you learned anything, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe. And other than that, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.